Hello everyone. Today we are going to see lightweight communication system numerical aperture calculation. Previously we have seen what is numerical aperture and how to calculate its value using the refractive indices of core and cladding. So Na is equal to the square root of N1 square minus N2 square where N1 is the refractive index of core and N2 is refractive index of cladding. Similarly, we have seen the relation between N1 and N2. So, numerical aperture is defined as a figure of merit for a optical fiber which can be expressed in the value by using a formula given as root, square, root of N1 square minus N2 square. Now, let us consider how to calculate a numerical aperture in this numerical or a example. Consider a multimode silica fiber that has a core refractive index N1 of 1.48 and cladding refractive index of N2 which is equal to 1.46. In the numerical we are being asked to calculate critical angle of incidence and a numerical aperture for a given fiber. Now let us consider here two cases. Now here we are supposed to calculate critical angle of incidence and a numerical aperture as well. So what is critical angle of incidence? So as the name suggests, it is critical angle of incidence. That means an angle where there is a total internal reflection possible in optical fibers. This angle is represented by a formula sin phi c which is equal to n2 by n1 where n2 is a co cladding refractive index, n1 is core refractive index. So this is known as critical angle of incidence. So we can calculate this critical angle of incidence using this formula. As we are given with the core and cladding refractive indices, we can use it in this value formula and then we can calculate sin phi c which is equal to this and from that phi c can be sin inverse of n2 by n1. Similarly, if we know that a numerical aperture can be given by this formula n1, root n1 square minus n2 square where we can put the values of n1 and n2 and calculate numerical aperture as well. So let us see the answers for it. Critical angle is being calculated as 80.5 degrees whereas the numerical aperture comes as 0 0.242. You can verify these answers by putting the values of N1 and N2 in the formula and get these values. Thank you.